Yo, check it out. It's the first episode of A Billion Talks. I'm your host, Bobby Lorenzo, and I got a special, a very special guest with me today. <laughs> AB1 them checking in here, man. The only most skin in the world with my boy Bob Lorenzo, a billion talks. Appreciate you having me, bro. All right, my brother. So tell me more about your brand, man. Okay, the brand I'm pushing, no co Like, no co no voucher, none of that. Like, just me. I jumped out on my own with no taking a risk, really. I feel like that's what it's all about in the game, too. You can't be scared, you can't be skirmishing. Exactly. So, how did you come up with the name AB1 them? It be one of them actually an acronym for Ain't But One Mosque. Like, just on some cocky shit, really. Exactly. Like, you have I really that. started this in Elmson, man. That'd that be out there. They, somebody ride by. And Mosque. I hit them Ain't But One. I put it together like that. Ain't But One Mosque. Showing it up. It be one of them. That's tough. That's tough. Yeah. So how many projects do you have as an artist? Uh, Solo projects. I got about, about five out right now. About five. Yeah. Can you name some of those? Um, I got no cosigner, no cosigner two, strictly for the ladies, back to the basics, and reset. Reset, reset. Now your latest album happened to be reset. Yeah, that's my last one. So tell me, what what was you going with this on that album? Cause I love I love that album. Man. I'm a big fan. I love that. I love that album. Well, reset it was more so, like pretty much exactly what it say. Reset. I done went through a past few months. I was going through a different situation, changes or whatever. Like, I, I recently just moved to Augusta with my kids or whatever, so okay. like I feel like it was a start over, different start. And that album, more, it's more personal, it's more so lyrical and like inner vibes, more so what I'm usually giving them to turn up songs or whatever. So that, that was a real different for me. Okay. So I see your shirt, man. I see your shirt, I'm taking the risk there. Yeah, that's the brand, man, AB1. Rocking my one of my lines, rocking my logo like this shit designer. So yeah. So you have merchandise? Oh yeah, I got merchandise. I got shirts, wristbands, or whatever. AB one of them. No coast on the NT on the other side. Pop my shit, bitch. You can't ignore it. Slide through nose in the air on cocky. Kid one in the head, hell no cocky. Little hater mad by the bitch. I ain't even hit yet since he talking hell yeah. I'm a popper. Tear down causing hell yeah. I'm a problem. Only thing I'm dodging is cell box. Some pet forty k thirty one shot clip hanging at the bottom like bell bottom. You can uh, contact me on my social media and just hit me up. Yeah. Let me know what you want right now. But sooner or later, I plan on having an actual site for where you can purchase my merch or whatever. Okay. That's a good look. Yeah, man. But that's, that's needed as an artist. That's oh, yeah, you definitely got to build your brand. Definitely. So, back to the album you said. Yeah. It's the song that stands out to me the most. Stands out to me the most. I remember. Tell me, tell me where you was going with that track. Well, I remember. That song actually old. I did that song like a year and a half ago or whatever. But just reminiscing on some of the people I lost and whatever uh, and all that kind of stuff, man. More, like I say, the whole reset album, EP or whatever, just more personal stuff than what I'm usually giving. I remember when you took the skirts off the Pontiac. I actually did that, that man. Thing. I had the I had the Pontiac at Bonneville, '79. Really got it with the rest spot on there. What you, what you, what you had to sit on? Took the, took the skirts off and put the folds on it. Uh, took the skirts off, got it painted. No, real rap, real rap, no cap. A few hundred dollars hit the paint shop. Shout out to the Curry Boy. Let them know what you're pushing now. I got the, uh, I got the RT Challenger right now. I'm coming for the Hemi though, man. Yeah. We working toward that. Not the Hemi, the Hellcat. Uh, the uh, Hellcat, we working toward Trying to hit them hard like that? <laughs> Out of the skirt, skirt. That's real rap, and I can hear it in your rhymes. I definitely can hear it in your rhymes. Oh yeah, man, I'm trying to take the thing over the top with it. So, what's your vision as an artist for 2020? What What should we expect from AB1 them to found a no co-signer ENT? 2020, I just I plan on building a team up, okay. like everybody, like a legit team, like everybody have a, a real duty to do, so we can like expand the brand. 2020, that's my plan, expanding the brand. Like, I I might drop another project this year, like toward the summer, but my main focus right now is just expanding the brand and building, making it bigger than what it is. Definitely can understand that. Yeah. I definitely can. Early as an artist, I seen you was doing a lot of shows. One one that stood out for me is, I do music for the South, is it? I love, I love, I love being from the South. I love being from the South. 
go into more about that and how you linked up with that and how you got into it. It was a cool opportunity. It was like when I first started doing music as a solo act. It was a cool opportunity. It was a uh, shout out to Miss Classic. Shout out to Miss Classic. I fuck with Miss Classic. Shout out to Miss. Yeah, she based out of Charlotte or whatever. So I ran across it on uh, IG, I think. Uh, advertisement for they doing the I love being from the South tour, and I just contacted a little about it, and they had the first show in uh in Greenville, South Carolina. Right. And in order to uh, advance to the next city, you had to like win it uh, or get it like right. accepted by her to go to the next city or whatever. So I actually did about three three or four cities with while I'm doing that, and I just I stopped doing it. I yeah I just stopped doing it. So what, what would you, what's your advice for up and coming artists? For up and coming artists, man, you just really gotta believe in yourself. Like nobody gonna believe in, in you if you don't believe in yourself. Like hard work, dedication, is all it's gonna take. It's a, it's a slow grind, but when time get hard, you just gotta keep pushing. So tell me, uh, I see you work, I see you work a lot with this producer C White. You wanna know more about C White? Uh, C White on the beat is a banger for real, man. Shout out to my boy. But we linked up back in about 09. We, we was still in high school then, but bro used to make beats. I ain't really take music serious back then. But yeah, about 09, I stopped for a while. Went to college and I graduated in 2011, went to college. I went to college for a year and came back home. Then that's when I really started indulging in the music. Not so serious as I am now, but uh, let's see, then me and C. White messing around and link back up. Like I was just booking him for studio time all the time. Okay. And we kind of developed a, a hell of a bond over that. So it just been like, bro, really turned into one of my, one of the bros, man. Like my, my go to guy. Man, no cap. You behind them lenses, by the way. Oh, yeah. This show right now by the production. He's behind the lenses right now. Shoot, I'm a video. See white, man. Shoot, I'm a video. Uh, I need, bro, really go hard for me, too. Like, I hit C White up. Like, I don't know what, bro, I need a cover made for something. Can you all uh, fix something on the song for me? Like, I feel like, bro, go the extra mile for me. Yeah, very stand-up guy, very stand-up guy. So what you heard it here first is Bobby Lorenzo. I'm here with who? AB1, the only most skin in the world, Mr. No Co-Signer. All that. Make sure y'all go get that reset, man. Make sure you go get it. And, yeah, you can find me on Instagram at ain't but one most Twitter, AB1M underscore. And you can follow my page on Facebook, AB1M. So we're going to wrap this up. That takes the first episode of A Billion Talks. It's your boy Bobby Lorenzo. Channeled by C. White. Real Hits Entertainment, man. Shout out to him. We logging out. Uh-huh. Yeah. Woo!